Alright, hello everybody, this is Demon, coming back for another round of Final Fantasy XIV. Um, as I said before, I noticed a little bit of frame droppage whenever we left last episode, but now it seems to be fixed. I... I really am thinking it's just... It's just the servers. There must be something going on with the update that's messing with the servers. Because I'm, I'm noticing a bit of like a stutter slash FPS droppage. Unless there's something going on in the system configuration. Um, I don't know. Actually, makes me quite curious. Unless there's something going on in the graphics settings. Standard HD, full HD. I just don't imagine what's causing it. Unless it's something to do with the shadow resolution. Eh. Oh crap! Where the hell are we going? <laughs> I just, I just suddenly caught on. I was like, "Where the hell am I running off to?" It's like I have a place I have to go to. It seems like it's back a little bit. I wonder what it's called. It has to be this HD user interface update or whatever the hell they called it. Sun's making it act up. It's very awkward and weird. Cause like when I was inside the back at the end back in that room, it seemed like it was fine for the most part. It had like a little bit, a little bit, but nothing like so disastrous. It was like going to like change my outcome for the game, but it's like I think they messed something up. They must have messed something up with this past update. Hopefully they can fix it by the time. Um, hopefully they do like a quick five point five one whatever the hell they want to call it patch just to get it like cured it has to be the hut update something must be stressing the servers so i know they're supposed to give this game out on ps5 unless it's the ps5 version no that wouldn't have any issues take it off nose fond of arnvold i know how he feels but hand wringing isn't going to help anyone we better have a word Please tell me something. Anything. Another one come to see the lad in silver armor. Master Damliad is attending him as we speak. If you would be so kind as to wait. What did Master Damliad say? Tell me his exact words. Now if I have to know this isn't helping. What's Jerry going to do with work? But you're right. Forgive me. When we set off our wellstone vault, I was afraid that something like this might happen, but now that it has, all we can do is wait. Yep, so quit freaking out for five minutes. <laughs> he chose to go, he ch made his decision. <laughs> for Dola, have you been waiting here all this time? We have done what we can. The rest is up to him. May we see him? Mm. I do not think that wise. You must let him sleep. Thank you for bringing him back. He owes you his life. I just... I, I just wish I had been there. Perhaps... I don't know. Perhaps I could have... Slapping him? Could have what? Got tempered? Don't flatter yourself. You can't save everyone. No one can. Not even the warrior of bloody light. People die all the time. For no good reason. And those who take up the sword die quicker than most. 
If you're going to shed a tear every time a soldier falls on the battlefield, you'd best stay away. It's no place for the weak of heart. It may be that victory cannot be won without cost. But all life is precious, and I refuse to shrug at its loss. All life is precious! <laughs> oh, you need to grow up, little man, before your sparkling ideals get everyone killed. You're right. He is idealistic. But the world has more than its fair share of realists, like you and me. It's people like him who dare to dream that things could be better and make it happen against all the odds. They are the ones whose names live on forever. The heroes. The battlefield's littered with would-be heroes. At this rate, you'll not be next. And what'll become of your precious dreams then? They'll be gone. Like dust on the wind. Dreams worth fighting for don't die so easily. We talked to Estenine again. No oh, woman, she plays at school, but her eyes are filled with sorrow. Sorrow deep enough to drown in. Not by this need to wait. What? No, I hate when people do this. No, fight me. I thought it was a goddamn free company of fights. I run these stupid raffles. I know, I know, there's nothing more I can do here. Come on, let us rejoin the others. Him, her grace of its silence have dawned to join her in the fragrant chambers. Your comrades have already arrived. Will the three of you be joining them? We will. Why are these chairs so goddamn big? Your Grace, pray forgive us our lateness. Think not of that. I understand a close comrade of yours was wounded in the line of duty. Arunvold. It was at the Alliance's behest that he risked all, and we are grieved to hear of his condition. Rest assured, he will receive the finest care our chirurgeons can provide. On that you have my word. Now, we would share with you the findings of the mission. Pippin, pray relate to our guests the details of Fordola's account. First Bahamut, now Ifrit, or Luna Ifrit, as Fan Daniel would doubtless have it. Tis now all but certain that the towers were conceived to facilitate the summoning of primals by those imprisoned within. Less certain is the means by which the Telophoroi constrained the wills of said entities to enact their designs in defiance of the pleas of their victims. Mayhap they do not. 
If mere proximity to the towers is enough to make the loyal servants of the Empire's mortal enemies, it stands to reason that the same is true for those held captive. They invoke their gods for the good of Garlemald, and in their disturbed state of mind, summon a primal whose form reflects their own alteration. It all begins to make sense. Upon closer inspection, I realize that the towers bear a striking resemblance to a much larger structure which Uriange and I observed from afar during our visit to the Imperial capital. Assuming it too is capable of tempering those in its immediate vicinity, it would go some way to explain the swiftness with which the Telophoroi managed to rally so many Imperials to their cause. While the situation in Garlemald is indeed troubling, I fear we have more immediate concerns. Ifrit was not the only primal summoned. At approximately the same time, observers at several other towers bore witness to the emergence of further such entities. For a blessing, None appear to wield aught approaching the destructive power of Bahamut, and the Grand Companies are moving to deal with the threat even as we speak. You can only tell me where they are. Your Grace, the Grand Companies, Your Grace? Is that wise? <laughs> Though we are aware that the task will not be easy, we would call upon the Scions only as a last resort. Pray, conserve your strength for now. After all, it was not so very long ago that you rid us of Bahamut. On which note, I am pleased to report that our talks with the Amalja have reached an agreeable conclusion. They have pledged their full support to our cause. It is our hope that this historic agreement will encourage other tribes to join us at the negotiating table. And I know that I speak for all of the Allied leaders when I say that we will welcome them with open arms at such time as they do. Of course, this was only made possible by the feats of heroism performed at Pagelfarn. Moreover, we shall not allow the sacrifices of those fallen in battle to have been made in vain. As hope leads to victory, shall victory lead to a new dawn for Eorzea. May these words ever be our guide, Your Grace. Now, if you will forgive me, I must consult with the Syndicate on the matter of our new ally's integration. Till next we meet, my friends, I bid you safe travels and blessed respite. I wonder if this is the end. It can't be the end already. Amidst this great push for peace to be tried, we, we uh, would do well to remember that old predators yet remain as delicate political stands, and I do not have any Sultana Taz, nor any Alliance leader. For no reason to linger, I will take my leave. You always want to leave, Astinian. Alphano knows only too well that sacrifice is a part of the conflict. Knowing something does not change how it feels about it. You yourself have shared adventures with our involved, have you not? Then I shall say no more. Secrets Tower thus laid bare, duty to prevent further abductions, take on new important, fail in this, and our enemy shall punish our negligence for uh the other primals. Uh, even without the threat of attempting to contend with the grand companies have quite a task on their hands. Regardless of the races, uh, prost uh protestations, it may be best to dispatch a few of our own this endeavor. Remind me not to mention it to Tataru, would you? We won our first battle against Telefore. It made significant service to boot. The war had scarcely begun. We must steal ourselves for what lies ahead.
All right then, unless anyone has any objections, I think it's about time we return to the Rising Stones. I glued you out for now. Arnvold is in good hands here. Of course, he would doubtless mock me for pacing about the infirmary. Let's retire then, and we might regain our strength and readiness for the coming challenges. All in agreement? Then I shall let Crown uh, know to expect us, and a hot bath and hearty meal should be beyond rage with the time available. Good to be home. I have something, think, some thinking to do. I clicked fast, but I read it all. Yes, I'll try asking him. Thank you. I shall look forward to it. Comrades eagerly await a return, and Crow in particular has a few matters she is keen to discuss. One of which concerns you, Estinian. Believe it or not, you will join us, won't you? Fine. Really, I thought you said you were avoiding that Beldesian woman. It's FPS drop, which is very noticeable. If I refuse, she would only pursue me. Let's get this over with, shall we? Oh my god. I hope we're not going to deal with what I think we're about to deal with. Many of you may be saying, Demon, what could you possibly be referring to? Let's see, Tataru harassed our character. I wonder if she harassed Astinian or plans to harass Astinian. Oh, God. oh, Jesus Christ. Do we actually want to be here? It's be a war zone. Oh, Father Son Spirit. <laughs> it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be really, really bad if that's what's gonna happen. It's gonna be a war zone. We're gonna come in here, the whole place is gonna be on fire. Welcome back. I expect you must all be exhausted. Ere you take your rest, however, I would beg a moment of your time. Thanks to Arnvold's selfless efforts, we may now be confident that we understand the function of the towers. But many questions remain regarding the reason for the summonings, and what lurks behind the looming edifice in Garlemald. Until such questions are answered, we will struggle to devise an effective strategy for thwarting the Telophoroi's stated aim. Nothing less than the destruction of this star. And so- Ah, oh, goddammit. It is- Possible the ancient knowledge preserved within their archives may hide a clue to our enemy's methods But given Charlian's established policy of non-intervention Our former colleagues are not like to aid us in its discovery Oh, I well remember what they're like The forum's barefaced refusal to assist you in the days prior to the calamity must rank as Charlian's most shameful act since the Exodus. But were the final days to be reenacted, it would spell doom for us all. Surely even they cannot turn a blind eye to that. I trust we are all of the same mind on this matter. Urgent as it seemed, I took the liberty of petitioning the Alliance for leave to act as Eorzea's emissary, and have since received their blessing. I presume your role as a student of Baldessian will carry some weight with the Forum? One can but hope. If truth be told, our organization has been a shadow of its former self ever since the disappearance of the Isle of Val. But the name does still retain some degree of prestige. I only pray it will be enough. If there are no objections, I shall depart for Charlian at once. But before I do, I should also mention the other matter to which I would devote some time during my stay. After hearing what transpired in the first, I began to question the true nature of Heidelin's blessing, a topic I have discussed at some length with Yishtola. 
We were wondering, when was the last time Heidelin spoke to you directly? Hmm? Near the end of the dragon somewhere, that day in the Crystarium. I don't remember the dynamic star. I remember it's the end of the Dragon Song War. She did talk in the Crystal but When also... you regained her blessing, was it not? But never since. Not in all your time in the first. When you faced the unsundered. The very heart of Zodiac. History shows us that Hydaelyn is able to awaken the echo in her chosen. Convey her will directly and grant the blessing of light. To our knowledge, however, she has not sought to intervene in man's affairs for some considerable time. Might not the explanation for that lie with her choice of champion? Mayhap she is content to trust in her judgment. Mayhap she is. But following my initial discussion with Kryle, I made inquiries of my own. And as far as I'm able to tell, Hydaelyn has not made her will known to anyone. During my time in the First, the Oracle of Light spoke to me through Reen. But that was not the will of Hydaelyn. It was Minfilia herself. Indeed. And while she and Hydaelyn were inextricably linked, Minfilia yet acted of her own volition. A messenger, yes, but one who spoke with her own voice. I wonder, could Hydaelyn's silence suggest the presence of some disruptive force, perhaps? Some obstacle to communication? While I share Uriange's high opinion of your conduct, I see no reason why she would deny you her guidance altogether. Then again, who am I to say? The fact is, we simply don't know. But if the explanation is to be found anywhere, I can think of worse places to look than the archives of Charlian, and their research on the Ethereal Sea in particular. Resolved though I am to go, believe me when I say that I take no pleasure in the thought of leaving you a member short. Now of all times. Estinian, we stand on the eve of a struggle that will decide the fate of this star. One in which we scions may play a telling part, yet we are but few in number. And so I must ask you again, will you join us? <laughs> Do you see the world? the way you want it to be. I see the world the way it is. You are idealistic to a fault. But I know you would never turn your back on those in need. Never close your eyes to their suffering. And somehow, your deeds lend truth to your words, giving the lie to my doubts in so doing. I have seen others draw strength from your belief. In Ishgard, in Alamigo. You inspired them to stand up and fight. To win, no less. And even when you lost those you held dear, you carried their spirit with you and made their memory your guiding light. The burden of so many hopes and dreams would be too heavy for most to bear. But you bear it willingly, as you have shown me. Some dreams are too important to let go. If you have need of my strength, it's yours. After all you've done, how could I refuse? Thank you, Estinian. Whatever challenges await us, I shall not falter. You have my word. A 
And now, I may bid you farewell. Safe in the knowledge that all is as it should be. In this little corner of the world, at least. You will be sorely missed. Tread warily in Charlian, and do try not to let the Forum embroil you in their politics. A forlorn hope, I know, given the individuals involved. I shall do my very best. Farewell. That sucks. Now we lose Crow. Eh, I guess it doesn't suck that bad. It just it just sucks that we're gonna lose her. What the hell? That's a lot of blades. Just picking ones up randomly and just going, I judge you as inferior. Well, does this one meet with your approval? <laughs> Apparently not. Or could it be that you're still upset about the dragons? You are unwise to remind me of so costly a failure. It will not affect our plans, I trust. Oh, hardly at all. Though, admittedly, the chances of us being able to procure any more Merisidian dragons are rather slimmer following Tiamat's reappearance. But the seeds have been sown, my lord. We have only to wait for them to quicken. Speaking of preparations, is it safe to assume that you will be ready to control you know what? The hour draws nigh. This nation, forged for Asian ends, will finally prove its worth. <laughs> A mighty empire, now no more than an instrument of this star's destruction. What a pleasure it will be to put it to use. Which brings me back to our earlier topic. My lord, while I appreciate that it is not an easy decision, it really is past time you chose your weapon. There is one that I have been meaning to test. Well, well, not quite what I was expecting, though I will say, it does seem rather apt. <laughs> he pulls up like the dancer one. <laughs> that would actually make me laugh my ass off for a good solid five minutes. I want to see it. Dicks! I want to see his sword? Why don't I get to see it? This ain't a pog moment. Oh my god, that FPS. If I am pursuing this course, I must prepare for the hardships that lie ahead. Need of my lance, I'll be ready. If not, I'll be reserving my strength in preparation of the next battle. But since you're here, I have a question. Sounds are close in contact with the East Alden and Training Company. Kugane, yes? I wonder if they could place an order for some sun-dried squid. I don't think they're going to find it in these parts. Uh, we know not the full extent of the Talifore's schemes preventing further abductions must take precedence above all else, for there in life the key to depriving our enemy of its most potent weapon. It strikes me as odd that rather than marching on one of the city-states, the Talifore have made so only sporadic attacks. I doubt they go to the trouble of putting it all up in these towers, but that's what all the ends uh, blah, 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 all the ends for us. Sun Spirit's towers would not have escaped the forum's notice. I would like to think they would be receptive to Crown's request for cooperation and investigating the matter, but unfortunately the reputation would suggest otherwise. 
that all he has to add. Yeah, actually, I clicked. Uh, none can deny that Highlands West has been a great boom to our cause, but much remains unknown with regard to our true intentions. Given everything we have learned from our encounters with the Asians, we must keep in mi our minds open to any and all possibilities. Which is, is she truly as uh, benevolent as we're thinking, or as kind and generous? Or is she using it to uh, us to our own ends? Against all the fighting, it's easy to forget what we've achieved, yes? Isn't it? Oh god. I mean, we cured Team Yet. Team Yet, for heaven's sakes. You will tell me if I become insufferably smug, won't you? Because the way things are going, it feels like it's a definite possibility. It looks like I'm going to have a f busy f uh, few moons, not that they ever seem to be anything but. Thancred's got me dispatching troops every corner of the realm, which is not to say I don't trust the Alliance. Because I do, but when it comes to putting down primals, nobody does it better than us. Well, then, you lot more, actually. You won't catch me trading blows with a primal in the near future, but for every fell fiend you vanquished, there's countless meals to arrange, baths to fill, sheets to wash, stores to replenish, and lists go on. Which is where I come in, and gladly, mind you. The least I can do to support sounds who life who risk life in them, like poor Armfold. Uh, I wish there was something we could do for him, but we'll just have to settle for saying the odd prayer and keeping a roof over our heads. Wouldn't be uh wouldn't do to have him night come back night come back to complete shambles now, would it? That's enough of my rambling, off you go, get some rest. If there are any developments, I promise you'll be the first to know. Now is this the end? This is the end. That's what I thought it was gonna be. I had a feeling. As a your strict orders gives as much rest as possible after all we need. Ah, uh, lady fighting one. The teleporty reared their ugly heads again. Alrighty. Well, that is actually pretty interesting. It's, is any of our old pals here? Ah, uh, these guys are here. Sent uh, Colton and the others to be our eyes and ears in the field. Wherever the teleporty appear next, we'll be soon uh, first to know. I think been teaching me how to cure tempering using a proxy. I must say, the thought of it being such a pro close proxy in one of the afflicted is rather daunting. Keeping good eye on towers and telling others to do the same. Of course, I don't mean just silence. I have a whole network of scouts to keep me informed. The only problem I'm running into is I am noticing this FPS drop, which it has to be the servers. Boy Boulder has only cut a fine figure as he set out his latest mission. I was sad to see him leave, and my nights would be lonelier with just one brother to keep me company. Tower rose in Yonkshia. My first thought was to stay in Doma to keep my grandfather safe, but when we heard news of Bahamut's return, he bid me to return to Ryze so to aid my fellow scions. He sends his regards, by the way. Although well, overall and I both so to I was afraid that I had a few opportunities to speak with Lad. I do hope he is fit to return to active duty soon. This has to be the service. Holy crap, that. Oh my god, that's horrific. This never occurred before. It has to be that. I just want to run around and see if there's anything to see. Alrighty, well does that mean part 4 is out now to be replayed in New Game Plus after we finish that? Or is that something they're going to bring into the future? Looks like that might be it. It actually makes me quite curious if that's the end of it. I wonder if there's anything in the solar going on. I don't think we've been in the entrance of the solar for a while. I know we have the one thing sitting in here, but I never actually showed them. Yeah, I forget who this is. All I can tell you is they do a lot of weird stuff. What would you ask me? And I serve as a friend. Unless you wonder why someone was charged for that. Because I have, how should I put this into the knowledge of the primal mind? Curious how you sure we need all this energy and power to, uh, to use it, do you? With much same with the echo, I imagine. I forget who this person is. I actually never cared enough to this one triad. The Awakening. I don't know what that is. I wonder if it's... wait. Wait. Does it have something to do with these? Which one had that? Huh, I actually don't know. Well, all I like to tell you is I'm ending the episode here. Um, I think we had plenty of time to play this this was actually really fun i'm glad i came back and finished this out because it means there was only 30 minutes and that's fine with me um but as i always sit there and say let's uh let's sit there and see can i get a nice area to look at yeah we'll go right here same as always um but with that unfortunately everything comes to a close at some point um it makes me quite curious uh 5.5 was actually a lot of fun um 
it, it had good comedy in it. I liked the uh, first 30 minutes of this one. I think, I think, what was this? We only did, what, four or five episodes? So, that's not, it, it doesn't seem like a lot, but I mean, that's about, that's a couple hours, a little over a couple hours of extra content for you guys. Um, unfortunately, um, I wish there was more. Uh, I was quite, I was hoping maybe there would be more, but there isn't. Um, I switch over to the emotes I did. Good. Um, there, there's a lot of things going on in this one. I found it to be really cool. Uh, it's really making me think, though, where they're going with this. I thought maybe they were going to go a different route, but it looks like they're just going to reuse a lot of the old assets and just remake everything. So I originally thought it was going to be something like, oh, yeah, they're tempering all our friends, and now we have Alizé and Alphano. Maybe I was thinking Endwalker was going to be exactly that. Um, like, it was going to introduce us to, like, all our friends have been turned... Um, Alzay and Alphina are the only ones that weren't tempered. Maybe they got out of the situation or we were only able to save them. Everybody else kind of risked themselves. That's what I was kind of thinking they might go with it. Because I was like, oh, it's Endwalker. We just go around and we save all our friends. We beat the Primal. We save them. Blah, blah, yada, yada, yada. But instead, they didn't go that route. Um, instead, they're going with... When Daniel built towers... The towers, in turn, are, being, are using the different people that from each group... Um, so for like, I'm assuming the Imperials, their devotion to Garlemald is what's being used as their like primal influence. And it's just spreading further and further. Then Daniel builds more towers in the outlying regions. We ca They capture beast tribes. The beast tribes in turn summon different primals that are related to them. Um, going after the dragons to resummon a lunar Bahama and then having uh, Timiat come in. She saves them. So it kind of gives me an idea of the route they're probably going to be going for in this, which is um, they're going to bring lunar versions of all the primals. We go in, maybe they'll do a 5.6 patch. Um, I mean, it's only April. I mean, I'm as, I forget when they said Endwalker's supposed to come out. It's either during the summer or it's during the fall. And I can't remember. It's like mid to late summer or early to mid fall. And that's what I was, I think that's what they were planning on releasing it sometime around that. So it makes me wonder if they're going to do one more, like maybe a 5.6 patch and add a little bit more story. Or maybe they'll do it in the, I mean, that's all I can think of. Like, where was that at? Which one are we on? It doesn't actually say. I know we're on the 5.5 patch. So it may... I really am curious in that. If they do a 5.6 and they add more to the story, I'd actually be kind of happy. You know, just to refine a little bit extra details out. Um, but if we just go straight into Endwalker, I'm fine with that too. Um, I know in the background I'm going to be doing... Um, where are those journal missions? I assume it's not here. No, it is not. Crap. Um, there was one I know I had to do, which is the... Um, what do you call it? Um, the different diamond weapon. Um, I was going through like a lot of the mech missions whatever they are Alan Alamigo and I know I think they just updated it to do the diamond weapon so I think that's the next one we're getting into um am I gonna record that I don't know I really don't I can say it just calm down if I decide to record it I'll probably replay through it and have some fun as of right now I don't feel like doing it and then since I already started it off screen I'm just gonna continue doing it off screen um I don't know what I'm going to do after this, though. That's the only thing. I don't know when I'm going to release this. <laughs> I just started Shadowbringers getting released right now, which is really confusing on my part because I've been looking at, like, the different, um, what do you call it, the episode releases, and for some reason it feels like I'm an episode short in the complete story playlist. But when I look on there, it doesn't look like I'm short. So I don't know what's going on in that series. Um, I know I had one, mi I know I had one episode that I numbered it the same and then I switched it but it's still not fixed I don't know what's wrong with it the complete story is going to be a little bit weird but I do like where they went with the story I like the fact that we got to see Astinian again I, I like the idea that we got to make we got to see uh, Alizé like freak out at Astinian <laughs> that was actually the funniest stuff ever I just like the idea that they're finally they're bringing in a comedy that's what I want to see the comedy stuff is fun it adds a little bit of extra flavor to it. Um, it it did feel a little bit short, but I guess it's just because 5.4 and 5.5 are probably going to combine as five as a part four. 
And that's why I said it makes me curious if they're going to do a 5.6 or not. If they do, it would make sense, because then you can combine those three and make a bigger part four. At the end, they could decide not to. Depends on how they feel. Um, I think besides that, what else was going on? That was pretty enjoyable. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Doing the team ad stuff. I like the fact they keep reusing Ozzy's Law. I just hope they don't get too reliant on it. Um, again, as I sat there and said, I, as much as I enjoy like seeing that they're using it again and they're bringing it back, I wish they reuse some of the Realm Reborn area. Flush it out. Make it enjoyable. That way it just didn't feel like I played it in Realm Reborn and that was a... Like, there's a couple different areas I wish they'd reuse. I mean, especially like like right now, like where they're like, hey, we're all going to relax now and not have to do as much. It's just like, this is when you could add some fun stuff, this side stuff for us to do with all the different characters, but... I mean, that's just me. That's what I would do. It'd be a little bit more fun. You could do this, like, little patches where you can just sit there and, like, do, like, little side things with everybody. That'd be kind of cool. And that would probably prolong the life of this. Um, i trying to think if there's anything else. Um, although I did find Lunar Bahamut to be very, rather easy. It makes me wonder what's going to go on with Ifrit. Um, same time, I'm also curious at what kind of weapon Z uh, Xenos decided to go with. Um, I'm assuming it's another Katana. But I just, you never know with him. It's, it's, it just, it's just a big old, I don't know. It's like, what kind of weapon do you go for? I'd laugh if he took a similar weapon to ours, but it's just like, he wouldn't take up a bow and keep it out of the ground. So, I, I don't know. Um, but with that, I think I've drawn this on well, plenty long enough. As I said, this was pretty enjoyable. It had some pretty good comedy in it. It had some sad parts with, um, involved and Fordola doing their stuff in that tower. It was pretty interesting. Um, but at the same time, it just makes me wonder where they're going to go next. Um, so, as I said before, I think I'm going to be keeping this for a while, though. I actually kind of like this outfit. It's kind of good for this character. Um, especially the hair color. I like the hair color. Blue and the white looks pretty cool. So please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. We come back, ladies and gents. Final Fantasy XIV continued? Perhaps. If not, we'll probably end up... Um, I'll see if the damn if Hoi 4 gets updated. If it gets an update, then I can't play the US campaign. I'll have to end it and then redo another one. Eh. What are you gonna do? But I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.